I've always been interested in user experience, and um, uh, basically I started playing with eye trackers and things like that. Um, uh, so I'm going to do uh, the bad news and the good news. The bad news is I forgot my eye tracker at home. The good news is I'll show you guys the other stuff. Um, but um, I wanted to be able to do remote uh, user testing for websites and, and applications uh, where I could just have them go to a URL um, and basically test the, the functionality, see how, they, how if it worked for them, if they had problems finding things. Uh, so I built a, a browser plugin um, that uh, allows me to mirror users' browsing experiences, basically, on any other uh, Chrome browser anywhere in the world. Um, as I log in here. Uh, so I actually um, used uh, iTribe in, in Copenhagen. It's another s startup that has a really cheap $99 eye tracker. Um, and uh, they had terrible software, but they had an API. So I was like, hey, cool, there's a challenge. I can build a better, um, a better tool for their, their eye tracker. So this actually uses the, the iTribe eye tracker. Um, and there's a Java application that runs locally uh, if you're using that to accept the TCP IP um, calls from the, the eye tracker or the messages uh, that interact with this plugin. So, so basically what it does is uh, I went to Aftonblad, its uh, homepage, and if I click on my little Chrome plugin that I have, um, there's two modes. There's active and passive. So if I'm the one actually performing uh, the, fun the, the interactions, so I'm the, I'm the test subject, uh, I'm going to be in active mode. And all I do basically is I hit start here, and it says, are you ready to start this session? And I can move around. Um, I can click on links um, and do things like that. And when I'm done, uh, basically, I just uh, say that I'm done with the session. And it's going to allow me to replay what I just did. And if I had a second computer, which I probably should have had for this demo next time, um, that's logged into the same account, since all, since all my, all my movements and, and clicks and stuff is being recorded up on a central server, any other plugins that is tied to my user account that has set to passive mode will able to see and, and mirror everything that this user is doing. Um, so uh, this is what I was having problems with right before the uh, the session. So it's it scrolls kind of ugly, and um, you can I don't know if the mouse pointer is showing. There's there's a big um, Slightly enlarged mouse pointer to be separate from the um, the normal mouse pointer. Um, so I'm, I'm working through some some issues with that right now, where uh, the the overlay for the um, the heat map. I forgot to say that. So if I if I'm watching, if if I have an eye tracker attached, and I'm in passive mode on another computer, I see a heat map overlay in real time, um, showing where they're looking on the screen. Where, uh, while their mouse is moving and stuff like that. But I was having some issues with um, clicks. So if I click through to a link and I have that overlay, now I'm blocking the underlying link. So I had to scan all the, uh, all the elements underneath, find which one is the link, and, and do stuff. Or I would tempor have to temporarily hide that overlay in order to simulate exactly the, the same behavior. Um, so, so what I have right now is actually that it scans all the the child node finds the one with the topmost link, uh, and then it does a location href to that, as opposed to trying to um, um, execute a click. Problem, some of the problems I'm, I'm running into is JavaScript um, events uh, or, or methods uh, that handles clicks and stuff like that. I have to try to figure out if I can actually get that to work reliably 100% of the time. 